Let's quickly set up chaos tricks so that your Twitch viewers can send bits to control your Minecraft Java game. And we start on chaostricks.com, click on download app. And if a download window pops up, just save it wherever you want. But you should also be given this page and you need to get the Twitch extension. So let's click on get it on Twitch. We'll click on the plus install button and you'll get this pop up here in the bottom right. I'm going to click on activate and set as overlay one. If we click on my extensions, you can see it's now confirmed as activated and on overlay one. And if you ever wanted to uninstall it in the future, this is where you'd uninstall the Twitch extension. Let's head back to the website. And as it's prompting, we now need to download the app if you've not done it yet. So it's typically a zip folder. You don't need WinRAR. I'll put it in the description if you want to use it like I am. I'm going to right click it and extract files. If you're not using WinRAR, there should be just an extract button for the Windows extractor. And I'm going to place it in its own folder on my desktop. So here it is. Let's double click on this folder and we're just going to double click on chaostricks.exe to launch it. And unfortunately, my antivirus removed it. This is safe and it's used by many Twitch streamers. So I'm going to restore it. You should do the same. And I'll once again double click on chaostricks.exe to launch it. Now that we're on chaostricks, we've got to click the authorize button to authorize it. At this point, it might be worth saying the way this app works is that when viewers send bits, it controls various games, including Minecraft Java, which we're setting up. And in return, Twitch is going to give 20% of those bits to the developer for creating the program. And you, the streamer, will keep 80%. That is, of course, after Twitch is cut. So I believe you end up with 0.8 cents per bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and authorize it. And you should get this section here, which has authorization completed. If you don't have it, just click on the common settings and authorize again until it says the authorization is complete. So now let's click onto Minecraft and get on with the Minecraft setup. And for instructions on that, you press the open guide button and we'll walk through them now. So we start by heading to curseforge.com slash download slash app and just download standalone. Now we're going to run through the curseforge installer and by default, everything should be fine. So we just keep pressing accept until it installs. At this point, make sure you just close out of your Minecraft. And once curseforge is open, we're going to click on Minecraft on the left. We're going to choose standard, press continue, and we should end up with a page like this. On this page, I'm now going to click create custom profile. I'm going to name it Chaos Tricks. Minecraft version, I believe we have to go to 1.2.2 because Chaos Tricks doesn't work currently with 0.3 or 0.4. We're going to use Forge and the default option on the mod loader. We'll click create and it's going to run through some downloads. Just wait for it to complete. Once it's done, click the three dots, click on add more content and we'll just search for the word chaos. The Chaos Tricks Twitch integration should appear. Click install. Only takes a few seconds. It's now installed. Now CurseForge is set up. Let's close it. And now in Chaos Tricks, let's go underneath setup events. Let's start the integration. And now underneath setup bits and channel points, let's click it. And it'll open this page if you want to change any of the defaults. Go ahead and do that. I believe Chaos Tricks has attempted to set up some sensible defaults. And they've also helpfully added some presets here so you can one click and it changes all of the different bit amounts. There's also a channel point beta tab here that you can play around with. And we have this event testing page which will test once we're in the game. So now let's relaunch CurseForge and underneath my mod packs, we'll just press play. You might now be prompted to download or log into the Minecraft launcher and then it'll download the relevant version. And you'll see on the left, once the launcher is loaded, it says Chaos Tricks and you can press the play button. Once you're inside, let's click onto single player. And crucially, we're going to turn the cheats on. Choose any other options that you want. I'll put mine in creative and create new world. And you can see I've joined the world and I've got a chat message saying Chaos Tricks is connected. That's great. Let's confirm it though by opening Chaos Tricks. I'm going to again, I'm on this test events section. I'm going to click on the normal creeper and it says a normal creeper spawned. And in fact, here it is. And just finally, you naturally want to tell your viewers how many bits they can send to spawn different things. You could create a graphic that you put on the screen. You could have a chat command. You could put it in your panels. Watch this video here to add normal alerts to your Twitch stream.